So find the exact values of the six trigonometric function values for the given angle by hand. In other words, don't use a calculator. Simply do that using reference angles and the special triangles that we've already looked at. The first thing to do then is to figure out what the reference angle is by drawing the original angle. The original angle is 300 degrees. So the reference angle then is 60 degrees. And we draw this triangle. So what, of course, we realize is that it's the 30, 60, 90 triangle. And with the 30, 60, 90 triangle, the hypotenuse is 2. This side is the square root of 3. And the x side is equal to 1. This point, however, is 1 comma negative the square root of 3. Again, that's telling us that the y value is negative in quadrant 4. So any of the trig functions that involve the y value will be negative. So let's find the sine of 60 degrees. The sine of 60 degrees will be the side opposite over the hypotenuse. Well, the side opposite is really negative, the square root of 3 over 2. So that's the, I'm sorry, that's the, the sine of 60 degrees would be positive square root of 3 over 2, but the sine of 300 is going to be negative the square root of 3 over 2. So that reference angle, of course, will always give us a positive value, but when we actually take into account where the point lies, in this case quadrant 4, that is what applies the positive or negative sign to the trig value. What about the cosine of 300 degrees? Well, the cosine of 300 degrees refers to, again, the reference angle is 60. It's the side adjacent divided by the hypotenuse, or in other words, 1 half. And of course, the cosine is positive in quadrant 4. Now let's find the tangent of 300 degrees. And the tangent of 300 degrees, we look to our reference angle, or ref which is 60, so that triangle, it's the side opposite over the side adjacent. But again, in this particular case, tangent is negative in quadrant 4. So it's negative the square root of 3 over 1. Or in other words, just negative square root of 3. Well, for the three reciprocal functions, we can simply take the reciprocal of these. And so for cosecant of 300 degrees, It's equal to negative 2 over the square root of 3. We need to rationalize that denominator. So that would be negative 2 square roots of 3 over 3. What about the secant of 300 degrees? The secant of 300 degrees is the reciprocal of cosine 2 over 1, or in other words, 2. And finally, the cotangent of 300 degrees is simply the reciprocal of tangent. So it's 1 or negative 1 over the square root of 3. We have to rationalize that denominator. So it's negative the square root of 3 divided by 3. All right, so that's how to find the six trig functions using the concept of reference angle. Now I would like to give you the opportunity to find the trig, a trig function value using reference angles. Here's the problem. Find the exact value of the sine of the given angle by hand. Theta is equal to 405 degrees. Pause the video while you work on this problem. And when you are finished, restart the video to check your solution.
All right, let's find out how you did on this problem. We have the angle of 405 degrees. So that would be once around is 360. I have to go an additional 45 degrees. And that would give me a total angle of 405 degrees. Drop a perpendicular, and I realize that with the reference angle, which is in fact 45 degrees, because the angle from the x-axis to the terminal side is 45, that I have my special right triangle of 1, 1, square root of 2. So now what we want is the sine of 45 degrees, which equals the opposite over the hypotenuse, which when we rationalize would be the square root of 2 over 2, but then the sine of 40, 405 degrees would be the same as that with the appropriate sine. But we know that all of the trig functions are positive in quadrant 1, so of course the sine of 405 is equal to the square root of 2 over 2. I hope that's the answer that you got on that problem. Now, it is often necessary to find the angle when given the value of the trigonometric function. And in doing so, we use the inverse trig function using keys on a calculator. The keys on the calculator are marked with sine inverse which looks like this, or cosine inverse, or tan inverse. So those are the actual keys on the calculator that we'll use in the next example. Find the angle theta for which a 5,000 pound car has a grade resistance of 400 pounds. Use the equation that F equals W times sine theta. All right, so in the equation F equals W sine theta, what we know is W is the weight and F is the resistance. Theta is the angle of the incline. So, for example, here's my theta. This is the incline. I form that right angle. And so I'm looking for this angle theta, and what I know is that the resistance is 400. The weight was 5,000, and we don't know, of course, the sine of theta. So sine theta, though, is going to equal 400 divided by 5,000. Then what we do is use the calculator by plugging in the inverse of the sine for 400 over 5,000. Of course, to make it a little bit easier, we can reduce this down, and it reduces down all the way to 2 over 25. So now let's go to the calculator and find whoops, sine inverse of 2 over 25. So on the calculator then, what we do is we do second sine, and you'll see that that gives me a printout of sine inverse parenthesis, and now what I plug in is 2 divided by 25, close the parentheses, and then hit enter. What I get then is 0 0.08. 0, 8, 5, 5, 8, et cetera. And that is in radian mode. And in radian mode, we would want to get a sense of what that is in degrees. 
So we can convert that over, and you'll see that it works out to approximately four and six tenths degrees. So that's the angle theta of the incline in order for a 5,000 pound car to be acted upon by a force of gravity of 400 pounds. All right, great work in today's lesson. There was a lot that we looked at today. In fact, in this section, we have evaluated the trigonometric functions using right triangle trig and reference angles. To fully appreciate what you have learned, be sure to work the exercises that your teacher assigns, and we'll see you next time.